So we talked about how in isometric perspective, there's no vanishing point. Here's sort of a monolith sitting on our, the plane of our ground, and here's the sun. And one of the pieces of information we need to know is the direction of the sun. There's no vanishing point. So we consider the sun to travel in parallel rays. So what we have to be aware of are the outer edges of our object and making sure that the shadow that's projected is making use of this parallel directional line. The sun projects light in parallel rays all in this direction. In really an isometric perspective, we're kind of look, looking downward often. So the sun wouldn't be inside the frame of the picture. It would be something more like this. So why was the sun here? It's arbitrary. That was my choice. And it's your choice. If you want the sun to be coming from this direction, okay. The sun is a giant light source, much larger than the earth even. This giant light source will just project parallel rays of light all across the spans of the world. That's sort of helpful to visualize what we're doing here. So even if we had another little isometric object, the lines will just be parallel lines. That's our expression of the direction of the sun. So we don't have to worry about the geometry of the shadows diverging from or converging onto the vanishing point. What information did we need to figure out the shadow projection? We needed to understand the angle of the sun. That means the sun coming down at an object. We needed to know the direction of the sun. And uh, we also needed to know the plane of the ground. It's kind of simple with isometric perspective because what we already have is the plane of the ground. We already have this sort of geometry going on, right? So I can kind of see very clearly how the ground projects out onto this um, plane. And so this is my dark side. So I'm going to think about the sun coming from the opposite of the dark side. So the sun's coming from this direction. So we already have these direction lines and the plane lines here. So a very simple angle that we could use is 45 degrees. True vertical to true horizontal, that creates a 90 degree angle. 45 degrees is right in the middle. So what, what can we do with that? We can line up any corner that we want to find. So I'm going to start with this corner of the house. And look at this. If I come straight down, I have this line directly underneath this point that follows the plane of the ground, right? So where do they intersect? It intersects right here. So here we have a vertical line, which is an expression of our height. We need to know the height of objects so that we can figure out. If we go back to our plane analogy, the plane is descending through each point and it meets the plane of the ground at a certain point. So I'm looking at the points of our object to figure out how far it's going to project. We don't have a vertical line that's an expression of our height here. So it's really helpful if you have a 
point expressing height add sort of a mapping line that we'll, we'll get rid of later, but it should be a nice true vertical line down to the plane of the ground. And then we want a corresponding line on the plane of the ground where this is going to intercept ultimately with the angle of the sun, the plane of the ground, and the direction of the light. And again, that's something to get rid of later. I'm going to do one that's a little bit more extreme than the 45 degree angle. So here's, here's a steeper angle, and this is going to be my angle of the sun. From this point, coming straight down to the plane of the ground and extending outward on the plane of the ground, where do things intercept when I add the angle of the sun? So I have one point of intercept here. Here's this one. I have a point of intercept here. And I have a point of intercept here. So with this more extreme angle of the sun, this is the projected shadow. We have a direction on the plane of the ground and we have an expression of the angle of the sun. This one is super easy since the light is all coming from, is coming in this direction. All of this is going to be in the shadow also.